Now this is a beautiful car. It's got great paint, a good stance, and just the right amount of engine. But even on a car like this, or any car for that matter, it's the details that count. But not every detail that separates the good cars from the great is going to smack you right in the face. Many require searching over every inch of the car, including underneath. Okay, so this may be a bit extreme, but you get the point. The underbody of your car has to be protected from the elements, but how? Traditional underbody coats are just plain ugly, and paint isn't durable enough. Fortunately, the answer may come from the same technology used in spray-on truck bed liners. You get the same protection as a bed liner, but here the surface is smooth and you can color match to the rest of your paint. To find out more, I traveled to the shops of Bad Company Rods and Restorations owned by Tom Elliott, where they were working on the underbody of a 68 Firebird. Bad Company may sound like an interesting choice for a name, but it actually stands for Body and Drive Line. Awesome. The first step is to completely strip the underside of the car. If you can get it up on a dolly like this, great. But if not, you could also do the same thing with the car up on jack stands. The sandblasting work has already been done here, but you'll probably need to either have it sandblasted or do something to clean all the rust and gunk out from underneath. When it's completely clean, wipe it down and spray some etching primer to protect the metal. Why do the bed liner instead of just regular paint? Well, undercoating will... It's kind of soft and it'll chip and flake and... It will keep the underside of it looking pretty and kind of a semi-gloss shine all the time. Keep the dirt off of it, you know, this stuff is really hard. It won't chip, dirt won't penetrate it. Take the car wash and, you know, wash it off. It'll look like brand new. Undercoating will absorb dirt, you know, and get that brownish, dirty look. You know, never, it never really gets clean again. Elliot is working on a car that's being completely rebuilt from the ground up, but you can do the same thing on a car that's in running condition. It may just be a bit tougher. Just strip the running gear out from underneath, put the car up on a lift or jack stands, and be extremely careful not to get any of this stuff on your paint. The last step in the prep process is to lightly scuff all the areas you've already primered with a Scotch-Brite pad, just enough to knock the shine off of the primer. This gives the primer some texture and helps the coating adhere better. Elliot spent the better part of half an hour like this, but just like a traditional paint job, he says that 90% of your time should be spent on prep and just 10% on the actual painting. Once that task is done, you'll need to make sure you clean off all of the dust. If you have sandblasted the car, dust and sand will be everywhere, so begin with an air hose before moving on to a tack cloth. Make sure to blow out the inside of the frame rails too. If you don't, air pressure from the paint gun can blow some of that stuff back out when you're applying the underbody coat and ruin your work. If you don't, if you don't tape it off and cover it up with plastic, you're going to have overspray. Now it's finally time to begin taping off the car. Anything comes in contact with and it's very, very hard to sand off. Everybody has a different way of masking off their car. After taping off the parting lines, Elliot prefers to mask off the bottom portion of the car with paper and then wrapping the rest in plastic. The paper holds its shape better than the plastic and it isn't as likely to move around and get in the way when he starts applying the undercoat. We know you don't have all day to watch this stuff, so we'll just speed things up a little bit. And before sealing off the entire car, don't forget to tape off any holes in the underbody. You don't want to wind up with the overspray in places you didn't expect. Now this underbody coating will cover a lot of sins, but it won't hide wells or seams. If you want to clean up the appearance of the car and the wheel wells and other areas, you can apply a seam sealer. It won't crack like Bondo and is easy to apply. It's just like caulking the bathtub and you can use your finger to smooth out the bead. Just make sure to check the tube and find out the appropriate curing time. Your final task before you're ready to start spraying the coating is to go over the entire surface once again. 
this time around, use a clean rag soaked in a pre-cleaner solution. This gets rid of any oils or other contaminants that can keep the underbody coating from adhering properly.